The Masbangu case came to a close on Monday, August the 25th at the Court of First Instance in Phillipsburg. The judgment of the case had gerecht verklaard de officier van justitie in de vervolging van de verdachte niet onafhankelijk. The admittance of the case has not been proven by the prosecutor officer who was requesting jail time for the police officers and the United People's Party official Roy Heiliger, who was allegedly involved in vote buying in 2010. In the written judgment, some pertinent information came out of a document such as campaign finances of the United People's Party in 2010. The judge referred to an investigation report called Criminele Inlichting Einheit, CEA. This report from the National Detectives gives an insight of the op leader Theodore Heiliger, who spent $3 million of his own money to finance the op campaign in 2010. Simata Newsroom dug a little deeper and found out more information about the other parties financing during the 2010 election. The document reads as follows. Theo Heiliger has, from his own resources, transferred $3 million into the election campaign fund of the political party, United People's Party. The political party, the Democratic Party, has spent in its entirety more than $200,000 on the most recent election campaign. The political party, the National Alliance, spent a total of $1.8 million dollars on the last election campaign. $700,000 of the amount was sponsored by Maksud, the owner of insurance company Najiko. Additional information with Theo Heiliger, it is meant Theodore Emmanuel Heiliger, Bainam Theo, born the 30th of March 1970 on St. Martin. And with Maksud, it is meant Imran Maksud Amjad, Bainam Maksud, born on the 14th of March 1957 in Georgetown, Guyana, with the insurance company Najiko, is meant Najiko on the Kanegita Street, number 26 in Phillipsburg. Further, I declare that I have received this information and have formed an opinion over the trustworthiness, reliability of the informant or informants and the truth of the information. This declaration reads that the background of the informants seen along with the information delivered by the informants leads to the conclusion that the information can be determined as reliable. The information in this report has been discussed with the CID, the Public Prosecutor Office of St. Martin, on the 26th of October 2010. Samantha Newsroom contacted the CEO of Najiko, Imran Maksud, and he informed our reporters that Najiko did not make a donation of $700,000 to the National Alliance back in 2010. The Masbungu case is now over and the police officers were warned not to engage in such activities again. Andrew Dick reporting for Samantha Newsroom. Like raindrops and the colors hot, yeah. National Alliance, they look like they're ready to go. The shoes don't lace up and it's done stuff to cast the vote. So show me where to wait your heart. The Alliance will never depart. Once you're straight with them all the time, I'm focused. Then we follow the Dear Value Voter, my name is Gracita R. Arundel, your number two candidate on the United People's Party slate. August 29, 2014, is a very important day. Why? Because safety and security are important to you and to me. But we need your vote. We need your support to make sure that we have more police officers, that we have more resources 
to assist these police officers who put their lives on the, on the limb every single day. They go out for your future. I'm right here in a park. The neighborhoods, we need to support and secure more community police officers for our neighborhoods. Safety, security, sand, sea, and sun, they can go together. As a tourism island, we depend on tourism, but safety and security will make sure that our tourists keep coming back. Together, you and I, we are ready to make it happen on August the 29th, 2014. I'm waiting for you. Thank you.